So we're all dog faces. We're all very, very different. But there is one thing that we all have in common. We were all stupid enough to enlist in the Army. There's been so much time that's passed since I left the vault. I'm still working to get in the good graces of the railroad. I've opened up Taffington Boat House as the railroad safe house for them. And I've got supply lines everywhere but at Taffington. But I'll get that linked up to Green Top Nursery as soon as we can get someone to make the run. Since it's the hub over there. I guess we better look outside here to see what we've accomplished. Let's go down over on this side. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Fucking good thing you're the farmer then. Well, we've completed the wall all the way through here. And we've gotten some turrets up there which has helped control the natives around here. We have a guard up there to keep an eye out for shit coming our way. The old farmhouse has finally gone too. We've used anything and everything we can to build this wall. And, uh, yep, I gotta get a railing up there for safety purposes. And, uh, so up here we have our, our guard position overlooking the gate. And, uh, let me just, uh, hop down here. Ooh. Here's the entrance. Still missing the turret, but, uh, we'll get that taken care of pretty soon. Tom wants to use a shotgun. Man's a fucking genius. We didn't even shut the door. So I hear the wall continues all the way up. And again, we used anything and everything we could get our hands on. Up here, we built this entrance pretty much at my request. It's not very secure. I, I have to admit, though, I just had to have it. I've always gone in and out of this spot right here when I'm running down that direction. And I'm probably going to need some turrets or something. Up here, on this corner, we have a spot with a bench and this overhang to get some shade and stay out of the rain for the guards. We have our guard post right here to watch for the provisioners. And, of course, I put up some more turrets. I got that one up high and this one just over there. The wall's completed all the way down to the warehouse, so that's uh, that makes it a lot more secure now. And now... Now this is something that I'm really excited about. We have ourselves a real fucking doctor now. She goes by uh, Doc Anderson, and she's apparently has some real training. No idea where she got that training, but she's already taken care of that bum knee I've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she'd been helping some random people out in the Commonwealth, and uh, I just asked her if she wanted to come join us here at Starlight, and she said yeah. Melissa did a decent job, but she I think she's kind of happy she's done with it. I honestly think I made her nervous. So Dick and I are still wandering around together, and the railroad has this robot they call Pam. She found coordinates to this old DIA cache. Apparently has some, you know, potentially some really good intel in it and some supplies. And I'm excited to see what's in there. The rumor is that there's some really special shit, and, uh, it's kind of stuff that I'm going to find real helpful in my, my tasks. If it's as good as they say, then I was right to work with the railroad. Deacon's getting pretty anxious to get going on it, but, uh, so I think we're going to have to head out there for that this afternoon. It should hopefully solidify my relationship with the railroad. So for so long, I've been concerned about, uh, what was going on with me and my stuff. For the last couple weeks, things have been changing a little bit. I've been getting a lot closer with these people, and I've been working with several of them as part of my duties as the general of the Minuteman. And I'm realizing how important it is to become so close with them. It's the only way I can be sure the world will be worth living in for Sean. In many ways, these people have become part of my family. I can't bring back Anna, but that doesn't mean that I have to be the only family Sean has. Uh, so, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be uh, be sure to make sure that the, it's the best possible place for Sean. And I need to make sure that he will be safe and secure, and this is the right way to do it. So with that, I'm going to go find them sons of bitches, and I'm going to kill them, and I'm going to bring back my son here. Let's get going, Deacon. Excuse me, sir. 
Seeing as how the VP is such a VIP, shouldn't we keep the PC on the QT? Because if it leaks to the VC, you can end up an MIA, and then we'd all be put on KP.